Uh, um, I just play a small part of Jeremy's mental illness Wednesday. All right. I'm going to be answering a uh, letter that was sent to me from my brother. Um, apparently, this old friend of his sent him this letter or something like that. He wanted me to refute it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to be refuting a uh, <clears throat> showing some mental illness in the comments as well. Uh, some pretty funny stuff. So first things first, let's get into the letter. And it says, Hilton, I love you. I would like to respond to your text with this email talking about salvation, the purpose of the blood of Je Jesus and Jesus' grace leading us to eternal life. You talked about the blood of Jesus and how Jesus paid the price for all of our sins on the cross. That's very true. Yep. Yes, Jesus took the price of our sins on the cross, but then he puts a condition on it. Every time you put a but on something, that's a condition. We are not truly saved just because we all call ourselves Christians. Uh, no one ever says that. It's funny how these work salvationists will do this. Uh, because we, you know, repented and turned to Jesus Christ, somehow that's just calling ourselves Christian, you know. Uh huh. You'll see where this is going here in a little bit. There are many who will say they are Christians, but if they choose to be workers of, of lawlessness, uh, the Bible doesn't say lawlessness, it says workers of iniquity. Make sure you read the correct Bible. Right. They will not inherit king internal life. Uh, chapter and verse on that, please. You know, I mean. This is work salvation. I mean, I guess he's apparently never read First Corinthians chapter five. It, you know, the man fornicating with his father's wife, you know, was killed by Satan and turned turned over Satan from the destruction of the flesh to the spirit, maybe saved in the day of the Lord. Yeah. And every one of these guys will do this too. I see this. Now everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my father. He that does the will of he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven is what it actually says. Uh, again, he's not using the King James. I will declare unto them, I never knew you depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Again, the Bible does not say lawlessness. And it's funny too, if you actually look at the passage, it actually condemns these fools. Yep. Right here. If you actually want to get right down to it. Um, come on, Bible. All right. Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 now, Not everyone that saith unto me Lord Lord Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven But he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven Many will say to me in that day Lord Lord have we not prophesied in thy name In thy name have cast out devils In thy name done many wonderful works, works. What is it you're doing to keep yourself saved Works They're trying to do you know, works By the works of the law no man shall be justified As the Bible says Justified when you're when you're having to turn away from the sin or stop faith. sinning to be saved, you are working the law. You are law keeping at that point. And yes, you are trying to be justified by the deeds of the law. Don't sit here and tell me it's Now we go to Romans. King James Version, that's what I'll, what I'll read. Okay, being justified freely by grace through the redemption that is in uh, Christ Jesus, whom God uh, have set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God. To de de declare, I say, at this time, his righteousness, that he might be just, and the justifier of which uh, believe in Jesus. Where is boasting then? Um, uh, it is it, it's excluded by what law? Of works, nay. By the law of law of faith, Jeremy, not the law of works. Right? Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. See, so this is what it clearly says. See, and that's why I'm not trusting in my asking anymore. Right? Right. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Uh, sin is a transgression of the law. And also the Bible says, for sin is a knowledge, not 
for the law is the knowledge of sin. Okay, don't sit here and tell me that law that you're not keeping the law by trying trying to keep from trying to stop sinning. You are. You're keeping the law. That's exactly what you're doing. You're trying to be justified by the law. No flesh shall be justified by the law in his sight, for it is written, the just shall live by faith. Galatians chapter 3, verse 11. All right. Again, it's funny. That it it pretty much it pretty much uh, refutes what they're what these guys are saying. Because look at this. Now I profess on them, I never knew you. So if you're somehow once saved and you, you know, somehow you lose it, why would Jesus say I never knew you? Yep. Huh? See how that doesn't work? If Jesus says I never knew you, would he be lying? Oh, I want Jesus you, but then the he truth. fell away. Uh-uh. I never knew you. What did Jesus Christ say? That I shall lose nothing, but raise it up at the last day. Yeah, you know, these people don't know their their Bible, and you'll see what you'll see what this guy does here in a second. Jesus makes it clear again. Jesus, red letter heretic, makes it clear that we must know him for for us to in, to inherit eternal life. Okay, eternal life is knowing Jesus. So how do we know Jesus? What he what he looks when he looks at the earth, he will he look at us and say, "He is my friend." You know, what's that got to do with a Christian today? You know, you're going back under the time when Jesus Christ was walking around the earth. You know, they were still under the law, and they were not justified by uh, by grace through faith at the time. Not yet. Yep. Okay, it wasn't until after Jesus Christ died on the cross and they became. She's a I'll go in a minute, but see the problem with Jeremy Carter and Brian Denlinger, they add to faith, right? They they trust in their asking, see? And uh, it's not doesn't say to ask. It says to believe. Converted. Okay. You are my friends if you do what I command you, see? Command. See? You gotta obey Jesus. By following his commandments, we become Jesus' friends. Uh, no. Jesus calls us to holiness over and over again in Scripture. Uh, no. Just because we are Christian doesn't mean that we are perfect. There is still much of our hearts that need to change after we get saved. Okay, who does the changing, though? That's the thing. Is it you or is it God that does the changing? Does God change your heart or does or do you do it yourself? See, what these guys believe, they have to do it themselves. They're working their way to heaven. Jeremiah seventeen nine, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. Uh, it doesn't say that. The heart is But also deceitful. Jesus gives us free will. Okay. Thank you.